My heat loss survey is back from Octopus Energy. Now, if you want to know what the survey was like, that's the last video. I recommend you go and check that one out first. But in this video, we're going to be looking at what the final contract papers look like, the heat loss survey looks like, and what the actual planning permission conditions might look like for the Cozy 6. So let's set the stage of what's been happening so far. So I initially had a telephone conversation with Octopus Energy, which gave me a fixed price on that telephone conversation of 1350 I then was given the option of would I like to carry on going ahead with the Octopus heat pump install and in which case I'd need to leave a £500 deposit but they were very clear that this deposit is fully refundable from Octopus Energy right up until the day before the install so if you change your mind you can get it refunded at that point this is quite unique because quite a few companies actually charge just for the survey which octopus are not charging you for it's a refundable deposit right until the day before the install if you change your mind this i think is perfect for heat pumps because a lot of people can get itchy feet in the last minute before the fact that they give you this peace of mind that you can have it refunded at any point gets rid of a lot of the fears that a lot of people have around heat pumps. Now, the other thing to note with Octopus is that the survey will be carried out at your home. I've done videos on that and the, and the telephone survey, so go and check them out top right. But if you are thinking of getting a heat pump, I'm gonna be following my entire journey on this channel with a playlist and lots of videos to come. So I recommend that you go and click subscribe and hit that notification bell because otherwise you might miss the other videos that are coming. Another thing to note, if you are thinking of getting in, uh, an install from Octopus Energy, that if you go down below in my description on the top of the pinned comments is a referral link to Octopus Energy where we will split 200 pound between us, meaning that that will just knock an extra 100 pound off your Octopus install. Now, after your survey, you're gonna get a call from your Octopus representative that you've been dedicated to look after you and your account and the way going forward towards the survey. So you've had the survey done and that survey goes back to your advisor basically in the office who will go through what the surveyor has said. Now hopefully the survey and the person who came out to you has already discussed most of these things with you but they'll be re-gone over with you on that telephone call just to make sure you understand and you're happy with everything. They will then send you out a final contract. This final contract is basically what this video is going to be looking at and all the details that that final contract includes including the planning issue that's in mine now the first page sets out the total price that you're going to be paying now it says on the first page that my total price is 8850 this is before the current government grant after government grant it comes in at 1350 pound and then after my 500 pound deposit that I've already left I've only got 850 pound to pay now your next page sets out what equipment they'll be installing including the heat pump and any storage or cylinder tanks that they'll be installing at the same time now mine currently says a Dakin 4 kilowatt heat pump. Now there's a reason for this, it's because as of the time of making this video, the Cozy 6 is not currently available out. It's not for sale. The reason is they've not finished going through all the testing procedures of the Cozy 6 or the, or the final paperwork that they need to get ready to submit it to the MCS as a final approved product. This causes me a problem when it comes to the planning issue we're going to discuss in a minute. Now listed in these documents is what's included. Now one thing that will might change from the Cozy 6 is the warranty period. Now the Dakin, for example, in this uh, system here comes with a five year warranty on the Dakin unit. Now that's a standard warranty that they offer from Octopus. If you go for an Octopus service plan, you will get some upgrades on some of the other parts of the warranty for the cylinder and the workmanship. So you might be considering that you might want a survey on your heat pump, uh, sorry, a service on your heat pump every year. Now Octopus charge £9 a month, which is about £108 a year for that service. Now the question is, does a heat pump need a service? I'm a bit unsure whether I actually think there's any physical benefit to servicing a heat pump because I don't think there's anything to physically service on a heat pump. I'd love to know what you think below in the comments. Let me know, do you think a heat pump service is actually worth £9 a month? Do you think a heat pump needs a service? It's worth noting though that £9 a month is actually one of the cheapest heat pump uh, service plans that I've actually been able to find online when I've had a look from other companies. It does cost quite a bit more. And with Octopus, if you are having the, the, the heat pump uh, service added in, it will add some additional warranty to your product. So it could be 
good value. Now the next page is a checklist of everything that everyone needs to do before the engineer comes. It's basically saying that the areas where radiators are being changed need to be clear. Uh, any areas where they'll be lifting floorboards need to be clear. So if you've got beds over where they're gonna be lifting floorboards up to put piping up, you need to make sure that that's clear so they can lift it, move the beds, move the wardrobes, move any clutter or, or anything around the radiator. So they've got free access of everywhere they need to work on the day. That's basically a list for everyone. Then underneath there'll be a box of additional work that you might need. Now there's additional work on mine that's mentioned in my survey video top right so go and check that out but there's also one big issue on mine and that is planning. Now the next page we talk about radiators. Now something that's quite interesting on the radiator page that a lot of people find interesting is Octopus designed for a 55C flow temperature. Now 50C flow temperature is designed for when the temperature outside is minus 2.9 Celsius at my house. This will differ between areas because it's based on the average cold temperature in your area, the coldest day average. So everyone's going to get slightly different but it's going to be designed at 50C flow temperature which is higher than some other companies but we're going to get to that in a minute. Now uh, that flow temperature bases in a 3.43% SCOP which means 343% efficient so that means one kilowatt in is just over three kilowatts of heat meaning at peak octopus intelligent rates at the moment of 27-ish P I'm going to be paying about 7.8% for one kilowatt of heat, which means that it's about a penny over what I'm paying for gas. But a gas boiler is only 90% efficient, so it means it's gonna be roughly at peak cost, about the same cost as gas. Now this is before we take in things into consideration, like I've got batteries, I've got solar, and also Octopus Intelligent gives six hours every night at 7.5p electric, which means that the price parity then is way under gas. Now there's also some other ideas that I'm gonna mention soon. Now the next page is the very detailed floor plan that your engineer carried out. Now, if you're an old customer of Octopus Energy, you wouldn't have seen this. They only start giving out about late March. But in this, you're going to want to check it because it's got your solar cutout, it's got where your battery is, it's got where your stopcock is. Make sure that all the details are correct. It even has a list of where the pipes are going for the heat pump, where the heat pump's going. And in fact, on mine, it shows where the heat pump is compared to where my neighbour is. And this detail is extremely important that you check it because nobody will know your home better than you. So if there's any mistakes in there, you need to let them know now. But as you can see, my heat pump is near my neighbor and near the public road. And this is where we get into the planning situation. Now the next page talks about the EPC, but it talks about flow temperatures. And in there is a really good chart showing flow temperatures and SCOP. SCOP is obviously the how efficient the heat pump can run at lower temperatures. Now the Cozy 6 is gonna be Optimus's very first in-house design system. Now I'll tell you a couple of things about Octopus that I know about them as a company. They are a data analytical driven company. They use data to make sure they can lower prices, not just for themselves, but also for you, the customer. The Cozy Set is going to be jam-packed with so many sensors. I think it's going to be probably the most sensor-packed heat pump on the industry, in the industry. I think it's going to become as standard with everything that's going to monitor the flow temperature of the hot water system, the flow water of obviously the radiator system, so you you know the hot water keeping your house warm, but also they're going to have other internal sensors in there, external sensors for the heat pump, and from my, my believing and looking at the way the Cozy 6 is designed with these pods that are going to be in your house, there's going to be multiple temperature sensors in your house, so not just the one thermostat. I believe there's going to be multiple thermostats within your house, and also control for when the hot water is coming on and when you're using the hot water. I reckon Optimus is going to use this data compared with their normal tariffs like the Cozy tariff, which is made for heat pumps, but also agile, intelligent. I think they're going to run all this data with these tariffs. But I also think with the heat pump data that they're going to get from the Cozy 6, Octopus might be able to change at a later date the SCOP, the performance, the temperature your heat pump runs at, maybe throughout the year, maybe throughout the, the install. Maybe they might work out that you, they, the temperature they commissioned you at, they can actually get a little bit lower and you'll still be comfortable at the temperatures you've got. Now, you can see on that chart that 35C temperature inside for your radiators runs at a 4.37 SCOP. Could we see the Cozy 6 drive temperatures for a customer that was commissioned at 45 down to 35C? This is what I think is going to be the real 
interesting part. Now the Cozy 6 should be ready for installs later on this year, I believe from what I've been told, but I have hit a roadblock. My heat pump faces a main road. It's gonna be visible from the public highway, but it's also not far from a neighbor's house. Now the neighbor's house we can sort out, but the highway we can't. So it means I'm gonna to have to apply for planning permission. Now it's worth noting that Octopus actually do the planning, help you do the planning permission for free, which many of the providers will charge for, but they do help with the planning permission. You still have to pay for the application fee for planning permission, which is understandable, but they'll help you with the paperwork and the process beyond that. Now, there is a small chance I won't need planning permission. There's currently a government consultation at the moment, which could change the way planning permission works for heat pumps. But for now, I actually can't apply for planning permission. And the reason is the Cozy 6 isn't ready fully yet for being tested. That means it hasn't finished its final commissioning process, which means until it's on the database of heat pumps, of, of you know available heat pumps, I can't apply for planning permission because there's nothing to show the planners what's been approved. It's not an approved MCS, uh, 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 MCS scheme yet for Cozy 6. So until all that paperwork's in, I've hit a roadblock. My heat pump is on pause at the moment until that's done. But there's another thing that I did not I did talk about in the last video that I want to raise a point on now. Now, one thing Octopus did offer me when they came up was a My Energy Eddy. That's a hot water diversion tank system. Now, I have a whole video coming about how I don't think that's right for me and why I think diversion systems aren't right. So make sure you click that notification bell and subscribe not to miss that video. But I managed to see a Cozy 6 in person at Everything Electric when Octopus Energy exhibited there. Now it has a bit of a furry shell, which Octopus says so it don't, doesn't get scratched and marked easily, but it does beg the question how you clean it because you won't be able to wipe it clean like a standard smooth finish heat pump. Because of this furry thing, I also wonder whether it will get algae in it and start to go green over time. So there's a lot to come to me about Octopus Cozy 6. So if you want to follow my journey, don't forget to see the playlist here. I've got so far of my journey so far from heat pump. But also, if you're thinking of getting battery or solar system, I have a whole series on batteries, solar, so you can follow that journey as well 